Hello, my name's Jamie and this is Barry. Guess what? We've got some more gadgets to give to our chef friend and make him very, very angry. Okay, mate, give us a swivel. <laughs> what the f <laughs> What is that? What is this tacky <laughs> in front of me? <laughs> it's just, is it just a plate? It's just a plate, isn't it? It's quite, quite like it. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Dinner DJ dining set. Get your dinner spinning with a Dinner DJ. This interactive Melamine dinner set has a tone arm combo, spoon knife fork, interactive twistable knobs, and a recorder style spinning plate, all to help you make the master DJ of dinner. Crank up the fun factor with Dinner DJ. <laughs> That's one of the best descriptions I've ever heard. Amazing, amazing. Usually, I, I'm not a massive fan of like kids' plates which have like all the superheroes and so on. They look a bit, you know, tacky. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, what am I gonna eat off it? No, 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 no. So we've cooked for you what we presume you ate as a kid. No, what do you presume I ate as a kid? Oh, please tell me it's turkey dinosaurs. So in front of me now, I've got some potato waffles. Um, I've got some, looks like bird's eye fish fingers. Oh, yeah. And some plain peas. That is a smashing mill. There we go, sir. What? <laughs> Why? What? <laughs> Why have you cooked me mussels? Having fun? That is working. <laughs> Don't forget about the interactive twistable knobs. Yeah, play with the knobs. Wake up, wake up, wake up. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna turn the volume up on these muscles. Oh! <laughs> he's just stopped talking to us now and he's just eating. So he's forgotten that we're filming a video. That's how much fun he's having. What do you think? Great for kids, okay for me. Barry's gonna love this. <laughs> we're fully aware that this is a child's plate and to encourage them um, to eat. Maybe it will encourage them to play with their food though. And I always remember being told not to play with my food. I just love the fact that you guys are having this discussion because we know that if I say this is useless, people are going to say, but it's for children. And how much would you fork out for this? That. Oi, don't talk with your mouth full and no elbows on the table. Thank and you, you very much. you need to finish that before you leave the table. I'd pay 12 pounds and 95 pence. I'm going to say it's more like seven quid. A little bit more than that. What? At 11.95. What? There's nothing wrong with it. It does what it's supposed to do. As an expecting father, I'm now used to seeing prices rocket up as soon as kids are involved. So I'm kind of surprised it's so expensive. So useless or not? If you have friends like Barry or kids, then this is probably really useful for you, but you guys decide useful or not. Go on then, Baz, have a look. <gasps> oh my goodness. That is horrible. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. <laughs> well, I guess I'm going to turn it on. <laughs> okay. Initially, I thought that it was like a little hoover for your work surface. I thought it was going to suck something, like a hoover, like get rid of crumbs. But why would it be a black sheep? Well, Barry. This is the Kitchen Craft Black Sheep Crumb Pet Novelty Tabletop Vacuum Cleaner. And look at the smile on his face. Now read the next line. It's difficult not to smile just looking at these great little characters. Crumb Pets. The name says it all. Crumb Pets. <laughs> oh, there's some crumbs. <sighs> this is going to be great. It's working. I look like an idiot, don't I? <laughs> You look like you're having fun, mate. The description did say it will put a smile on your face, and I can't argue with that. How much would you pay for a crumb pet? Bearing in mind, it doesn't need a huge amount of maintenance like many other pets. Um, seven pounds and 20 pence. Three pounds. 7.99. Oh. What do you think? I mean, it does its job, it sucks up crumbs. It's a shame it looks so bad. <laughs> it's fun. It does what it advertises. So sure, it's good. So useless or not? A bit useless. Turn around. Wow. 
I don't know what it is. Dream Farm, the world's best kitchen tools and gadgets. We'll see. When was the last time you found something that worked so well it made you think, where have you been all my life? Okay. Okay. It's making me so happy. Me, spoon, 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 spoon. Oh wow! So it's to help scrape the last bits out of a jar, and you know what? They don't look awful. So this claims to do six things. You can scrape along the side like a spatula. It's got measurements on the inside of the cup. It is silicon, so it's scratch resistant on all of your pans and heat proof to 230 degrees Celsius. It's dishwasher proof and it's spill proof because if you put it down, it, it keeps your messy bit off the work counter. So I've got no doubt that this will work. But it's a not enough, is it enough of a bugbear of mine to warrant buying one? But this, this is pretty good. What are your thoughts? I'm not sure about these, because I kind of, I like them. I like that as a design thing. I think they're kind of smart. The spoon as a design is already pretty damn good. And if you're out to create a better version of a spoon and spatula and measuring cups and everything else combined, that does a really smart job. This is where the price is super important because you can get a spatula for what, like two, three quid, like a really decent heat proof spatula. And so, this does exactly the same thing. It may be a little bit more well-formed for getting stuff out of jars. With price being so vital, how much do you think that retails for? A single spoon of that size? Yes. I would say it probably costs about 12 pounds. A tenner, a 10 pounds, 10 great British pounds. Eight pounds 78. The problem I have with it is it's good, but it seems to have been a bit overthought. Like, I don't think measuring tablespoons and teaspoons and that is gonna be very useful. I'm kind of being on the fence a little bit, but I think overall it's good. Just maybe a little over-engineered. I'm really struggling with this one. Usually I go, that's a laugh, that's a gimmick, a bit pointless, but I like it. Other ones I go, really flipping useful, need that in my life. That one, I won't know until I use it every day and see how much time and money and effort it saves me. So I'm going to leave it completely up to you and give you no answer at all. Useless or not, you decide. You know the score by now. Comment down below, let us know, put them in order. Useless or not, you decide. The gadget, not me and James. If you're new around here, we do this every single Wednesday and Sunday, so make sure you subscribe. And if you are subscribed, then well, click that bell. And if you have liked the video and you have commented down below and you have subscribed and you have clicked the bell notification but you still can't get enough of Sorted... Mental. <laughs> <laughs> then click the link down below and find out about our super secret club. There is a lot to do there. There is a lot you to do there. You can get it all done before the next video. Yeah. See you later. Bye. As we mentioned, Sorted is just run by a group of friends. So if you like what we're doing, then there are loads of ways that you can support us and get more involved. Everything you need to know is linked below. Thanks and see you in a few days. Oh. 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 Oh.